didn't want to do this. This was not my idea. I'll pay you $50. I need some soup because I am about to have a DEXA scan and I'll explain what that is in a second but before I have a DEXA scan I need to take a pregnancy test. Uh, you better... Uh oh. What? Negative. Negative. Good deal. <laughs> You're the baby. Julie's getting set up here on the DEXA scanner. So this is a scan that's gonna go take slices of her. It's a body composition scan. So it'll tell us your body fat percentage, your lean mass or muscle back, muscle percentage, and then your bone density. It could give us some information like that. Enjoy. So this is your bone density. And then here is your actual like body composition. So this is your fat mass and your lean mass right cool. here. Cool. Okay, so what I am doing is participating in a research study. And the person running this research study is a very cute, very good looking, really smart. I really like him. And his name is Landon. And somehow he wrote me into pricking my finger every two hours and getting blood draws every 12 hours. So you can thank Landon for putting me through this. <laughs> I am participating in his fasting research. I'm going on, let's see, 12, 13, 14 hours of fasting as of right now. I'm going to go through the rest of the day into the night, tomorrow morning I will go get another blood draw. They will test my ketone levels and then I can eat breakfast tomorrow. So wish me luck, I'm going to drink lots of water. The very first thing I do, pull open the survey. Landon created that QR code. He created the survey that I had to fill out. He created this super awesome, fantastic instructions for your fast. <laughs> he created all of this for all of his participants in this study. Doing this gives me a very, very small idea of what it would be like to be a type one diabetic. They had to do this quite often. So anyone's watching this who's a diabetic knows exactly what I am doing, putting the little, I dropped everything. <laughs> putting these little test strips into the meter, getting my little needle ready to poke my finger. Make sure my finger is nice and clean with alcohol, dried. Ooh, not too bad. I won't show you my blood because I know there's some people who don't like to see blood. Point one, good job. All right, just a little update. It is two o'clock in the afternoon and Landon here said that he wanted to do the fast with me. Was it so that I didn't feel, you didn't feel guilty didn't eating in front you, of me? Yeah, I didn't want you to feel alone. And yeah, it's like, it's easier to feed the kids something small than we don't have to worry about eating. <laughs> Every time I turn this camera on, people are loud in the background. Be quiet so I can talk. What I wanted to say was, I wasn't going to be in the kitchen. That would be easier so I wouldn't like eat food but I still have like dishes to do. The kids are still eating. So I'm still in here like cleaning up and I'm like all this food, but no, I'm going, I have to be strong. Like I have to, it's a research study. So I want to give them correct information. So I'm trying to avoid the side of the house and the dishes keep piling up because of the kids and. How are you holding up through all of it? You feeling okay? Well, I'm hungry. Like I want to eat, but I'm just trying not to think about food. Okay. So I'm good though. I'm doing all right. Good. I'm still energetic. I'm moving. Yeah. I'm grooving. Let's get moving. Mm. Oh my gosh. Mm. It smells so good. I want to eat it. Who wants a Dorito shell, taco shell, nacho supremo? I don't even know what it's really called. Dorito taco loco supremo? Sure. But they were so nice. They were giving out free tacos today and I don't want to cook dinner. So I thought, okay, one per person in the car. So our kids have tacos for dinner and I want to eat some of that, but I'm not going to. Pound it. All right, you're essentially 36 hours into a fast right now. I woke How up, do you feel, I woke honestly? up to get ready before I went to get my blood drawn so I can eat. And I stood up and I'm just like, I can't stand in the bathroom and get ready. I feel like weak. My stomach feels fine. I don't feel hungry. Like I honestly don't feel like, oh, I'm so hungry right now. 
my body just feels like limp. Mm -hmm. <laughs> like I can't stand up to do anything. Yeah. That's all. It needs some energy, doesn't it? Yes, it does. I got some broth ready for you so that you'd be surprised how much that like breathes life into you. Oh, good. You'll be feeling better after that and then you can come home and have a cinnamon roll. Lahan said, if you are doing this, don't just all of a sudden eat a ton of food or your stomach will curl over. Mm -hmm. So I'm not gonna do that. Yep, slowly ease your way into it. Okay. You're tough, you ready for your last blood draw? Yes, but this is not the only time I'm doing this. Keep no. watching. Are you getting up to get ready? <laughs> I was gonna brush my teeth. Uh -huh. Oh, I stood up. And I could just like feel my whole face go white. No! Oh, give me some food. Thank you. <laughs> Look at his lips. What did you eat today? A ring pop. A ring pop? Your yeah. church? Teachers, your little primary teachers brought you ring pops last night. Smile. You have blue teeth. That was so cute of his teachers to do that. And I almost licked one of them this morning. He offered me a lick. Well, I think this whole fasting thing wiped Julie out a little bit. She ate really fast when she got done with her fast. She started with some broth and then went straight into a bunch of eggs and cinnamon rolls. And I think that kind of did her in or hurt her tummy a little bit. So one piece of advice is work your way in slowly after you do a long fast like that. It'll really help your tummy not get hurt. So we'll let her rest a little bit and then we're gonna go for round two in a week. All right, it is a week later. Here we go for round two of fasting for 36 hours. First stop is to write some love notes and put them in Lannan's desk. Tonight is going to be a little bit different. We are going to draw my blood still, but I am going to run on a treadmill for an hour, or at least get my heart rate to a certain point and keep that up for an hour so I burn so many calories and I get to eat an Uncrustable for dinner tonight with some almonds. They had it all mapped out. Landon took some time once and he mapped out all these different foods and how many calories you have to burn and then what foods you can eat. A mixture between beef jerky, almonds, string cheese, apples. And because I'm lower in weight, the only thing I get is an Uncrustable and almonds. And that's it for 36 hours. So I'm in here visiting with Landon's research assistants. These guys have helped Landon so much. You guys can say hi. Hi. <laughs> I'm putting them in front of you guys. And they were just saying how Lennon was the best. What was he? The best TA. TA. For so, anatomy. For anatomy. Lennon mm -hmm. taught anatomy labs. And he, they were saying that he's the best. So I just want to put that on record for you guys. <laughs> that they have good things to say about Lennon. So, and I just wanted to tell them thank you because I don't think Lennon could have done this whole study like without his research, research assistant. So they've been a big help because Lennon has been able to be home a little bit more with me and the kids, and these guys have taken over, so thank you. Here you go, you miserable little thing. I'm miserable. <laughs> you I'm are miserable. I burned off all my calories in that run. 36 hours later, without eating, here I am after waking up at 4.30 a.m. and could not go to sleep. My stomach feels fine. I don't have stomach hunger pains. I just want to eat food. I think that's called hunger. <laughs> I got water all down my face. I can't bend my neck. I have a neck kink. Like, I literally have water everywhere. <laughs> my neck hurts so bad. This has nothing to do with fasting either. But hey, guess what? I get $50 and Lannan gets to write his defense paper. So I call that a win, I guess. <laughs> Thank you so much for helping me. <laughs> yep, this is all for you, Landon. Good. 
I am not in it. Look, you're eating outside of the kitchen. <laughs> That's a rule, they can't eat outside of the kitchen, but I do. No fair. No fair. Julie, you did an awesome job fasting. Well so done. She's, la she's laughing because this is like the seventh time we've tried to start this clip. <laughs> so just as a quick recap from my study, the folks that, who are participate in my study have to fast twice and they do it for 36 hours each time. And throughout both of those fasts, we're taking periodic blood measurements and we're trying to find little molecules known as ketones. And ketones are just a product of fat breakdown and the higher they go, the more benefits you get. So fasting is one way to build those ketones up. And supposedly if you exercise while you fast like I just did, then you get a higher level of ketones. Yeah, so that's, that's the goal is to kind of quantify the point at which we get those ketones up to the point of getting benefits. Some of the benefits that you get from having higher ketones, um, improved nerve repair, like even from a traumatic brain injury. If your family is prone to having, bye Lucy. If your family is prone to having like Alzheimer's or Parkinson's disease, a lot of neurologically based diseases, those, those are actually have a decreased risk of you developing those if you fast regularly and build those ketones up regularly. Decreased risk of cancer, all but a few types of cancer are actually very sugar dependent. And so um, having higher ketones actually helps prevent cancer. Um, it can improve your likelihood of not getting diabetes type two diabetes. Um, there's all sorts of benefits. Shh, kids. There are all sorts of benefits. Okay, I'll be up. Okay, let's go play. There are all sorts of benefits from having higher ketones in your body. So um, whether you do that through fasting or through what's called a ketogenic diet, which is just a high protein, high fat diet, um, there's lots of ways to achieve those benefits. Fasting, as we're discovering, seems to be the fastest way to get there and combining your fast or starting a fast with some exercise actually gets it there quicker. So if you wanna kick into those results fast, what we're finding is that the, if you wanna get there the most efficiently, fast and exercise and you'll be good to go. That's our little tidbit for today. Good job, Julie, and all of the other participants who helped me in my study. From here, it's just writing it up, getting it published, and showing the world that we kind of found something really cool. Thanks, guys, for watching. We'll see you guys next time. Fast. It's good for you.